Hi everyone, welcome to another Oynish vlog, Velnish, or welcome. In this cooking video, I'll be making a tilapia dish. I'm from Jamaica and tilapia is not a tradition in Jamaica. We're used to tropical fish from the Caribbean Sea, snapper, etc. Dr. Fish, Frenchman, Grupa, even mar Marlin. But tilapia is something that I've been introduced to since I came to the UK because I've got many African friends and maybe because many of them live in landlocked region in Africa, they would get tilapia from the, the lake, but also import from China because they do um, farm a lot of tilapia. So today I'm going to make a spring dish with tilapia. As you know, in previous videos, I've been doing some spring foraging for wild garlic, wild leek, and ground elder. And I decided to make a tilapia dish out of it. So it's called Spring Tilapia Africana. That's Spring Tilapia Africana. Made with nice seasonal British Scottish ingredients, where I believe many Africans would really benefit from, you know, eating all these new vegetables some of them might not be accustomed to. So, in this dish, yeah, the, the tilapia, which will be prepared in a foil, in a, a wild garlic marinade, um, and it will be served with roast vegetables, so roast potato, roast carrot, and also sweet. So the idea is to prepare the vegetable, parboil it, and I believe when I parboil it, it roasts a lot better. And then in the oven, the fish will be prepared in a foil and then in the oven and sort of steam right there in the foil. And then some of the marinade will be used to make a sauce with corn syrup, corn flour rather. The idea is not to add too many seasoning to make this sauce to go with the fish. Generally, there is sodomonium glutamate that people use to add to enhance the flavor. Or some people just use a bullion or some form of um, stock maker, you know. You can do that if you want, but in with this marinade, I'm just going to use the, the wild garlic that's um, blended with water and salt. That's it. Steam it in the foil. And some of that same marinade used to make a sauce with corn flour. And as I said, if you want to add stock to it and so forth to enhance the flavor, that's fine. But for me, I want to taste the the season itself. I don't want to be distracted with other tastes. So maybe you could just try it like that. And spring will be over soon. So if you want to get the loss of the wild garlic and, and so forth, now would be the best time to make use of that opportunity. So I'm going to get the ingredients together and then we're going to go for it. Okay, so I've got the pot for power boiling the vegetables. It's only for two or three minutes um, before I roast them. I also got the marinade for seasoning the fish. I've got two um, steaks, tilapia steaks, all washed and everything. And then I've got the three vegetables. I've got the carrot, half a sweet. As you can see, it's a small sweet, I would say Anything between 100, 200 grams should be fine. As you can see, it's quite small. And one potato. Remember, I'm doing it, I'm just doing one portion. So, this Swede, approximately 100 grams, and carrot. That's it. And the two steaks, and the wild garlic marinade made with just blending water and wild garlic and adding salt chances are some people would probably add pepper um etc but i just keep it nice and simple 
So what I need to do now is to just get the vegetable on the go. Oh yes, and I've got some rosemary oil. That is to base the vegetable before I roast them. So it's rosemary with um, sunflower oil or vegetable oil and a little salt. So, so what I do is half and then make Yeah, this size should be the same. So I've got four veggies. See the size? We don't want them too small because we want them to roast quite nicely. The potato, all I need to do is to half it because I need it this big. And the carrot. Two, three, four, yes. Carrots. That's it. Salt. At this stage, you don't want too much salt because there will be salt in the oil. So just a tip, maybe a third of a teaspoon, and that should be fine. And then cover and on the stove. Now for the fish. I need a foil. So I just need to make a few serrated cuts here on either side. Not too deep, just sufficient. And then this one too. There we go. And what I need to do now is marinate it. Chances are you could do this overnight, but it's not relevant. So I just put the marinade on. It's quite straightforward, really. Yeah. And just mix it in. Cause it up, it's got the wild garlic blended up with the salt already. Not much is needed. But as I said, while making the marinade, you probably put you can put onion in it if you want. But I don't see the point of putting onion in it because wild garlic is part of the alum family, and it's got that nice garlicky taste, that oniony taste all in one. So I just leave it as it is. That's why I don't over season it. Alternatively too, you could just add pepper, you know, if you just need a little chili on it. And maybe a herb. I would recommend, I wouldn't say basil, but I find mint go nicely with wild garlic. I don't know, that's just my preference. You can add um, herb to it. Whichever, maybe parsley, whatever you, you choose. But you must have for it to, to be called um, tilapia, spring tilapia africana. It is a tilapia plus the wild seasonal wild garlic in spring in the UK. And all you need is salt, the wild garlic, add water, blend it up. That's the base. And that will be accompanied with roast vegetables. Potato, 
sweet and carrot simple so what I need to do now is to add it to oops let me just move this back a little there we go as I can see sorry I'm just getting used to this thingy there you go, see? And all I do is okay. This is basic prep, you know, nothing too extraordinary. You see, it's pretty straightforward. As I said, I haven't put any herb on it, but you can add that to your mixture. Right, so don't want it to leak, but it's pretty basic. So you just form edges to chop the moisture in, and that's the foil. So it gets steamed inside. So you notice there isn't any oil. There's no deep frying. There's no all this oily stuff. It's all natural. That's the idea. Nice flavor, some meal. And then I need a pan. So this will go in the oven just like that. Plain and simple, right? That's it. So let's see where the vegetables are. Right. So we've got our fish ready. The ov oven is hot. As you can see, it's already partly parboiled. Let me give it another minute. I need to go get something. Right, so we've got our fish. We've got our oil, and it's not too much oil, just sufficient. This is not an oily dish. Yes, yeah, so I've got this container to roast the vegetables in. This nice crockery. They need something sturdy. I've got this ready. Fish is good to go. Now the vegetables. there so I'll give it another three minutes okay so now we've got our parboiled vegetables they're not thoroughly cooked just parboiled so it's easier to roast and I've got my oil here I take a little and baste the container then I put my vegetables in, parboiled vegetables, and then just add 
the oil mixture. So it's just basically rosemary salt and sunflower oil. Could be vegetable oil. I don't normally use I don't use olive oil for roasting vegetable. It doesn't have a high heat capacity. So it doesn't work out well for me. Okay, so this I'll be putting in the oven now. So here's one I did earlier. So this one I did earlier, as you can see, nice crispy vegetables. And the fish. Let me put the fish in. Okay, I've got a vegetable mix that I did earlier on, and this is the fish. So this is the fish in the foil. So it's nice and cooked, and you see you've got the wild garlic marinade on it, which is all it's already salted. I hadn't put any pepper, but I could have had um, put some cracked pepper in the marinade itself or whatever. But it's just salt, wild garlic, and water. That's it. So now we need to plate it. Oh, one more thing. Here I've got the sauce I made from the wild garlic so as I said it's just the wild garlic mix salt wild garlic and water that's it other people might add stock to it but I just want a naturally tasted um, product today so yes so this is spring Spring tilapia Africana. I need something to take it. Spring tilapia Africana. There we go. And our sweet, nice British vegetables. The idea is for. African who are accustomed to eating um, tilapia know to add British vegetables to it. So you have a nice healthy stuff. In, or instead of always using rice, you can add some vegetables this time around. And that's it. It's just a wee change. And then the fish. Spring tilapia africana, that's the name. It, it's made with wild garlic, marinade that cooks the fish, and seasonal roasted vegetables, carrot, potato, and seed. And also, I've got the marinade that's made from that is turned into a sauce using corn flour. It's just wild garlic, water, and salt. I didn't add any pepper, any stock, or anything to it. So that's it, basically. I know it's green, but it is spring. It's expected to be green. It's the season, after all. 
and finishing touch some partly roasted wide leaf seeds it's not fully brown I might have turned the pan a little bit but it's slightly roasted not too much but just enough to catch a little brown color and this will be added to it also so this is also included into the dish so how many seasonal vegetables we've got we've got the wild leek seeds and we've got wild garlic wild leek seeds anything so got that 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 good I haven't missed anything no. garnish so the nurse gem could be used as garnish that's it pretty much so all I need is to nip the leaf off the stem and add it to the side like that it's pretty, pretty simple no cooking just all raw there you go